What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. This right here is a special surprise. Well, it's not a surprise because I guess I do know what it is, but I've never seen it in person. Um, but we're gonna bust it open. Let me show you guys what's inside. Any guesses? I decided we're gonna move inside to open this up. Not much new with the garage, but uh, we got more hangers there that we're testing out. If you guys saw the last video, I had finally decided to clean this little spare bedroom and turn it into a little workspace for now, instead of working in the kitchen. So this little bedroom uh, was always a mess. I finally took a minute to organize it and clean it. We have lots of paperwork, paperwork for everything. A couple laptops, I got a new one. So I'm editing on that now. My old PC, and the shrine, which is mostly made up of gifts that have been either mailed to us or given to us at the expo. A lot of cool stuff from uh, fans of ours, which leads us to this. All right, this, uh, we've got lots of tape to cut. Something's in there. Oh man. Eduardo Alvarez is a wildlife artist. It sounds like he's been following uh, my stuff for quite a while and all the hush stuff. I've got some really cool messages I want to share with you guys after I show you guys this. <laughs> it's crazy to me the people that have this much talent. Are you kidding me? Guys, this is the original. Holy... Crap. He said the detail was better in person. He wasn't joking. Guys, that's an original pencil sketch. A drawing. Wow. Look at that. There's me in the background. <laughs> With my bow. He's got the detail on the quiver. The stabilizer. The bowl is absolutely incredible. This is unbelievable. Signed by yours truly, Eduardo Alvarez. Look at that, oh my gosh. This is incredible, absolutely incredible. I mean, even the texture on the antlers, oh my gosh. The arrow, right where I hit him. Him burning out of that field, me back in the pine trees. This is, this is crazy. I can't believe somebody can put a pen to paper and create that. Unreal. Eduardo, you killed it, man. The, the pictures you sent me didn't do it justice, like you said. There's no doubt that I'm going to frame this thing and hang it out in my new garage when it's all done. It's going to look absolutely amazing up on the wall. It's going to be a good conversation piece means a lot to me that he would take the time to send the messages. means a lot to me that he would take the time, pen to paper, and make this for me. So, Eduardo, thank you so much. All right, I'm using my cell phone to film, so I'm just going to read some of these screenshots. I'll share them with you guys on the video. Follow Eduardo at rugged underscore lines. You'll see his tag and the overlay videos. But um, this is March 19th. He said, hey Eric, so I was watching your recent videos and seeing how you're fixing up the new place. I realized you were in need of filling up some empty wall space. This is very true. I got a lot of empty wall space. Let's just say your videos and your hunts still inspire me, man. So I have, de I have decided to work on a piece for you to have and enjoy. I was gonna wait to show you until it's done, but I'm sure you would like to check out the progress and sent me these photos, which I was like, <laughs> mind blown again this this guy is so talented just really wanted to tell you that your videos and your hunts still inspire me to get out there and get after them thanks so man this is what's so cool about sharing content online you never know who you're going to reach who you're going to motivate or inspire and uh i love getting dms like this i love getting gifts like this just to give you some love of the other gifts i've had plaques uh a lot of Young kids in shop, in metal shop class, do this. Paintings, uh, rifle slings. This jaw was a painting. 
Um, another drawing. A lot of this stuff inspired by the Fireball story and the Fireball video, which still to this day I get messages um, at least weekly that that video has, you know, inspired someone or uh, motivated them to get outside more. Now, we're diving back into this. I think I know exactly who I need to get to build me a frame. My buddy Mitch Giles. This is his logo, Rugged Lines, wildlife artist. He does commission jobs, guys. Please, please, please so go support him at least with a follow on Instagram. He's really fun to follow. Shows a lot of his artwork. Um, his name is Eduardo Alvarez. Like I said, wildlife artist, no way. Check that out. He's got a cool card with some of his own artwork on there. That's pretty cool. So created a nice logo. Anybody want to contact Eduardo, tell him I sent you. Hire him to do a job. Hire him to uh, do a gift. Something for someone. Go check him out, guys. Support him. He's been a huge supporter of myself and Hush. So again, Eduardo, thank you so much. I absolutely love this. I'm definitely going to have to follow up with a um, video when I get it framed and how it turns out, but I know it's going to look really good. I'm thinking maybe a barnwood frame of some kind. We are really putting all the good stuff in one vlog today for you. I was thinking about saving this for another video, but what the heck, I've already shared it on my Instagram. So we're going to spill the beans because this thing is not going to be around here very long. In fact, it's going to leave my house today. So, this is the newest addition to my collection. Let me throw it up on the tailgate so I can show you guys. Ooh, thing's heavy. So, I recently found this deadhead ram. First time I have ever found anything like that. I'll tell you what, I was pretty stoked when I found it. it took me a minute to kind of register what it is I found, but um, the video and pickup of this thing will be on a Hush video soon. It'll be on a shed tour episode. I was actually out looking for elk sheds when I found this thing. And just so everybody knows, I legally got it off the mountain and was rewarded the head to possess keep in my possession from the fishing game so yeah i was pretty dang shocked when i spotted this thing you guys will have to watch the video for the pickup uh pretty cool story how it all happened i want to give you all the details so we can save it on the hush life vlog but that thing is gonna go get boiled out cleaned up and it will eventually be in my garage when it's all said and done which i've got some new stuff for the garage so we're gonna run over there and i want to show you guys uh the speakers we just got the speakers for the ceiling system so pretty stoked on that but yeah what do you guys think of that beast everybody's been pretty stoked for me on social media so thanks to everyone who follows on instagram and left a nice comment and was just happy for me it's the only one i have in my collection and who knows I may not ever find one again. Check this out. This is all the stuff that we need for the speakers. We're going to have eight speakers in the ceiling. There's this little fixture and these guys, pretty interesting, that hold them up. And when it's all clean and after sheetrock, we'll be putting the speakers in. And these are the ones I've got. So there's going to be eight of these in my ceiling, which should be enough to really make this place pumping. So yeah, Mike is over here updating um, a couple things we'll run you through. He put in new power outlets on the floor because this is gonna be where the office space is. So computer monitors, laptops, charging batteries, there should be plenty of power in that corner. And then we actually had to make a couple big changes over here on the wall. So we had to get a, um, a bay with a box with three switches because these new lights are all gonna be on their own switch and they will be dimmable. Then we had to replace this box and upgrade to one with more bays, I don't know, power outlets, so we can have the new lights on its own breaker just so there wasn't too much power to all the lights. And then this is gonna be where we're running the speaker wires, eight individual speaker wires up and all the way to wherever they end up. Haven't really planned uh, a layout yet for the speakers, 
but that's what's new with these things. So speaker wire, all the fixtures and everything ready to go. The whiteout skulls. <laughs> He's pretty sweet, huh? Oh yeah, dude, that thing is huge. He is girthy. So the one left horn has already slid off. This one? Or that this one. one. It's already pulled off. Ooh, it stinks. That one stinks. Mm -hmm. But the you right one hasn't mag. popped off yet. Ooh, maggots. That, there's maggots in that sucker. I think that's that's probably new since it popped off one time. Uh, that's probably... good. That was my biggest worry is seeing if I'm going to be able to get these. I, yeah, I haven't, I haven't even oh. tried that one. That one's solid. Anyways, Casey's been in my videos before. He's done a ton so of my uh, taxidermy work, European mounts. He's doing this one, my first Ram. Cannot wait to get it back already. Holy crap. These things are weird to me. You see, that thing's huge. That's a big one, huh? Like He's I so said, heavy. I was telling you, I've, I've done Barbados Rams. Mm -hmm. Suckers are only like this big <laughs> compared to that. That's insane. And then Mike brought these over. So you guys saw in the last video, we're trying to trying to design some antler hang, hanger racks. So I can put all these sheds on the wall, but also be able to get them off. So we shrunk this up. I should say Mike did a little bit, but for these big heavy bowls, it was, it was a little tight. Like it's not bad. It would definitely work. Like you can see. That big old burr really doesn't want to go on there. Once it's on there, it's nice. Um, but for a smaller burr, burr or maybe less mass bull, it does work pretty dang good. So that's how that would look. Anyways, still messing around with those. And haven't really dialed them in for sure, but we're thinking line up most of that wall with big elk sheds. So that's all that's news around here once again. I just want to thank Eduardo Alvarez for the drawing, the fireball drawing, and uh, say thanks to my buddy Casey, who's going to take the sheep skull, boil it out, and do all the dirty work for me, make it real nice and clean. And then obviously thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. We recently broke 27,000 subscribers, which for this little vlog channel, I think is super huge. So thank you guys, appreciate everything. Give you one last look. And the old fireball drawing. It's going to look uh, great all framed up. I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see you guys on the next vlog. I'm still doing my best to keep the daily videos going. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll catch you on the next video.